The first known white settler was John McCallum, Judge John McCallum, although he's not a judge, and Dr. Wellwood Murray, and of course he's not a doctor, but the two of them came down here because they were going to sell land. There are a lot of people who are rightly credited for the origins of the Palm Springs we know today. Their names are on streets and buildings valley-wide. Carl Gustav Licken is one of those early pioneers, although the early days of Palm Springs were a little rough. Nellie Kaufman got here in 1909 and she bought a building, singular, and some land next to it, and then housed her people in tents for her health resort. So it was a very rudimentary place. They had one segment of the road paved. There was no direct highway out to 111. There were no sidewalks. There was no electricity, no water. There was nothing by modern standards. In 1913, Licken buys the only store in the tiny town. He begins selling basically survival items to the sparse population, food, clothing, hardware. But over time, C.G. Lickens becomes a vital part of the community. Carl comes along, gets the general store, and basically over time acquires a phone. And he uses that for communications. Now before he got the phone, he ran telegraph wires from his store six miles to the north up to the railroad station so he could communicate from Palm Springs, although we're not a city yet and we're not incorporated. As the store expands and Licken becomes more and more involved in the growing city, his place in our desert history is undeniable. But not all of Carl's ideas worked out all that well. So he buys a 300 pound block of ice. And by the time he gets it to the train station, gets it on the train, train gets to our station, gets it off the train at our station, brings it onto a wagon, takes the wagon into town, gets to his store, He's now got 100 pounds of ice. But along with the other Palm Springs pioneers, Carl Licken spent his life helping create the world-renowned desert resort that we know today. He dies in 72, he's like 87 years old, but he spent his entire life improving things in Palm Springs and helping Palm Springs. 